red spectral moon day 11 of the wave that we are in and the 11th day is the liberation point it's where after the manifestation point the yang we move into the yin energy and allow things to dissolve and to disintegrate and therefore liberate us so we're not very we're very attached and we love the idea of manifestation We've got to manifest but everything is has to be in balance and that's the nature of learning about energy and how energy works so if we want to have the manifestation then we need to equally appreciate the disintegration and the dissolving of creation to allow the next level of creation to emerge. Otherwise, we get stuck. We're blocking the energy because we're afraid to let go. And red moon represents feeling because it's the water. Even though the red is there as an initiation fire element, it's about the embodiment of water. So it's the the water of our body that is life, the universal water of life, the divine feminine, the flow state, which is when we're connected to the life force and we're moving with it like water. And so in this wave of storm, this is, storm represents quantum change, whereas the moon tends to move in a rhythmic manner. And we, and we know this from biodynamic farming. So there are phases of the moon and we have that in our body because we are largely water and we're very connected to the moon. This is a lunar calendar. Most indigenous people live by lunar calendars because the earth is being influenced by the moon influenced by the moon and so it makes sense to follow the planting of our food and our own emotional process through life through looking at the moon so that's why this is a key to connecting with our higher selves because it brings us into our body it orientates us with the movement of the earth and the moon and back into the cosmos so coming back to spectral moon spectral moon is speaking to releasing the the emotional waters of life which is the ultimate storm so we're in the wave of storm which is all about freeing the energy to allow it to come into its pure state so not imprinted with any ideas and limitations and concepts and agendas, etc., etc. Everything is made of energy and we're creating with energy, with our consciousness and we trapping are trapping those creations because we don't understand this next level of the creation process, which is the destruction and we are afraid of that destruction and we've projected a lot onto that and we want to manifest, manifest, a yang, yang. And then the yin element is dissolving and the dissolving is dissolving back into source. And so we're holding a lot of emotional baggage. We can tell that by looking at the earth and the polluted waters of the earth. So that's a reflection of the polluted waters within our body. We have an, a lot of trauma and emotional baggage that we need to clear in order to free up our energy body to heal us. A lot of our illnesses are based on emotional toxicity turning into physical ailments. So we, we have consciousness and light. Consciousness and light. And these are just different energetic frequencies of the same essential matter or um, antimatter sort of in between both and as we have something in our energetic field or our, our, our spiritual energetic field or our ancestral energetic field and then our mental field etc etc that ends up becoming manifest in our physical body if we don't know how to process that we don't know how to release that and so we are being invited in this storm wave to purify ourselves and return ourselves to our our inner child our pure state inner child which is connected to the magic and the wisdom of our higher selves and the liberation point to getting there is for us to really really release 
all of our emotional toxicity and allow our body to flow, uh, are the waters of our body to be purified from these imprints, from wherever they're coming from, and all levels of our being actually showing up manifest in the waters of our body and then turning into something else. So if we learn how to release within ourselves, then we will understand how to release externally as well. These creations that we've created from our woundedness. So it is... It's a fundamental piece of allowing us to regenerate ourselves on every level, which will totally transform our reality because we won't die, we won't um, get sick because we will know how to bring our energy into balance, we'll know how to release. And so as the saying goes, feel it to heal it. So the message of today is to really feel your feelings and really flow with your feelings allow yourself to go on a journey with your feelings in fact to come out the other side of wherever they are held trapped and so spectral red moon is really surrender to and allow yourself to feel and trust your feelings and ride them out towards the regeneration that they wish to bring you which will bring you to your heart space which is where we will be tomorrow so that's the message of the day feel it to heal it